Hello guys, today we will be baking a cake with my siblings and my mom to help assist us. It will be a banana cake and we will be using white oats and we are going to turn it into flour by blending it. So after we finish blending it, uh, now time to uh, mash the eggs. We, the ingredients we have here are bananas, an egg, we have chocolate, we have raisins, we have baking soda, we have sweetened condensed milk, and yeah. So we are going to first mash the bananas. We're going to peel the bananas and... We're going to make sure that we remove all the uh, stuff that would be the strings that are on the banana. And then we have to mash it up. We would need two, but you can choose any amount you want. So, uh, we actually thought of making a banana cake because we actually had bananas in the house. So we also had all of these ingredients and now it's time for us to add sweetened condensed milk. It's only for flavor and not really for anything else. And you can put as much as you like depending on how sweet you want it. And then you mix and then don't forget to also mash. So since the liquid is a little more than before, we would have to mix it with a whisk. Mix it thoroughly and properly. Um, in this step, it's actually quite hard to do this. And now, uh, we have to add the egg. One singular egg. Make sure you put the yolk in carefully. And make sure you don't pour anything. And that is done. Then we have to mix it once again you have to mix it properly now we the next thing we have to do we'll be doing a bit of tasting to see how sugary it is and we like the texture and also the taste So we're just mixing it again so that it's in its proper mixture. And Bella is also having a turn on mixing. So Bella is not that good at mixing because her hand isn't strong enough. But we'll... the mixing part is pretty long. And now we have to put the flour. This is the oats flour, the white oats flour. So we blend it. And now we have to mix again. Make sure we get all of it inside. And then we have to continue the tiring mixing process. This time it's a bit harder due to the fact that the that it's acting immediately. Uh, it kind of looks like pudding of some sort and soon it will become a cake and we actually decided that we wouldn't be using normal flour we would use this because it is a lot more healthier now it's time for the baking soda or bicarbonate of soda and we have to pour it all in Bella and done time to continue the mixing process again this time Kinder is mixing it if you don't want the sweetened condensed milk you could also try honey as well 
and you could also try instead of oats all purpose flour. Well, we have raisins and chocolate over there, and that raisins are to add more texture and a sweeter taste, also for it to be a bit more healthier. So now it's time for us to add the raisins and the chocolate. We're only going to put some chocolate because we also want to decorate the top with the rest of the chocolate. So we're going to put the chocolate inside and also the raisins. So now it looks like a really good porridge. You can choose any dried fruit, but we decided to choose dried grapes. You could put date, you could put dried plums, anything. Or you could even not put chocolate and put vanilla instead. That's just your choice, but we decided to do chocolate because we like the taste of chocolate. So we have to continue mixing again. And Kindev and Bella are really debating on who is going to mix, so they are sharing now. And now sunflower oil. Three and a half cups of sunflower oil. You could use any oil. And don't forget to use either similar to use the same oil to put in the pan so that it, it won't stick. The batter won't stick to the pan. Mix thoroughly again and then pour it into the greased pan. So the pan has already been greased with the same oil so it won't stick and we are going to slowly pour it after you pour it, you also have to make sure that you flatten it and you must do it properly. Make sure you get all the ingredients inside and just continue pouring until the thing is almost empty. And then afterwards, flatten it. So here is also Bella drinking some uh, juice. She likes to call it orange juice, but it's actually made out of lemon, lemon rind, and ginger and honey with water and it is quite tasty if you really want the ingredients you can have it we will write it in the description below so that you could make it yourself and also the ingredients of the cake as well so we're adding we're making a little character since Kindev and Bella love drawing and they're gonna make it have eyes and some cheeks and then a smiley face and a heart and then they're going to sprinkle it all over please subscribe to our channel and please make sure you tap the like button it will mean a lot to us for and also it would help encourage us to make more videos like this And see, now it has its smiley face, and we're now making the heart. We'll make the heart, we're making the smiley face out of raisins, and the eyes and the cheeks out of chocolate, and the heart, only two chocolates remaining. So we put them on, and the rest will be raisins to make the heart. So, Bella is already enjoying her drink. The ingredients are below and you can actually do any design you want. We decided to do a smiley face because we thought it would be nice 
just remember that the chocolate will melt at the uh, end of the cooking process so do arrange it in a way that you would be able to know that and now pick it up and now it's time to put it in the oven if you are a child best ask your uh, elder to help put it in the oven so that you won't burn yourself and now it's time for us to uh, put it in the oven and we're going to make sure that it's really hot and we're going to put it for at least 20 minutes for 30, 366 